Isaac, are you mowing? See you later, Hunter. Hunter, you look so cool in your sunglasses. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Monday. It is still summertime, so um, I had to run out this morning and take my husband some papers he forgot he needed to take to work. And so we had kind of a funny morning. I think it's about 10.30. And we just got home and um, I'm letting the little kids run around outside and play before it gets too hot. Uh, if, if you've been around here for a while, you know that. My son's basketball was falling at me. We live in Florida, and it gets super hot, super early, and then we can't come back outside to play. Just gotta look for it, Clem. It was over this way. Somewhere right here. And so, and it rains every day. My kids keep joking that we moved to the rainforest, but... I think it not only rains at our house, it's just raining everywhere in Central Florida every day right now. So every single day we get monsoons, sometimes for hours at a time. Make sure you get scoop good underneath it and get it all. Even if you rip up the grass. We hooked the dog out and he like squatted right in the front yard and pooped. <clears throat> right where the kids play. So I'm making Chloe pick it up and throw it out of the yard. Make sure you got it all, please. Chloe, make sure you get it all, please. If not, they'll be stepping all in it and that's gross. So, all kinds of weird bugs out here. Like a scorpion. Anyway, so we're playing outside. I've got to, I think I have two more freezer meals in the freezer, so I gotta figure out if I'm gonna set out one of those or set out some meat to cook today. We're still getting the last of our homeschool stuff organized and together. What else do we got going on? Just getting our regular daily cleaning and stuff. Um, we gotta get some sheets and a couple comforters washed today. It's so nice that, um, where we live now, the kids can like ride their bikes and scooters and their little electric cars in the road and we don't have to very rarely worry about a car coming through. And if it is somebody driving by, it's usually our neighbor and they work during the day. So there's really, or the mailman, there's really no traffic that comes by us. So. I will give you guys a peek at the garden. I think I, I need to check on it today anyway. Got some okra planted and some carrots and potatoes. But I think the only thing that is growing so far is the okra. I haven't seen any carrot sprouts coming up. I'm not really sure. So, this is what the okra is looking like. I've never grown okra, so I am not sure what it's supposed to look like. I've got to take these strings down. My husband staked out and put up strings so that I could follow my lines and keep them in even rows. we got some carrots planted. That's grass, clearly. And these holes here, but I don't see anything but weeds coming up. I'm not sure that may be the carrot coming up. But besides grass, we probably won't weed in this area until we know for sure. I'm pretty sure it's carrot though, coming up there. I've got several 
couple rows of carrots planted. And something has been getting into my potatoes. Pretty sure that's a big weed. I don't know where that... Oh, you know what? Looks like somebody planted our tomato plant. I had it in a pot just sitting out here. Um, looked like it was dying, so I wasn't doing much with it. It looks like maybe my husband planted it this weekend. Something has been digging up my potatoes I planted. Very nice of whatever you are. We do have bunny rabbits that we see out here a lot. Um, but I don't think that my husband moved the fence and I don't think that the fence is deterring them or they can get through it or sometimes the kids leave the gates open. So I don't see anything coming up potato wise over here. I'm not sure if that's Looks like grass to me. I'm an amateur gardener guy, so uh, don't take my advice if you're looking for gardening tips. We're just kind of um, trying it out and experimenting and seeing what we can grow, what we can't, how to grow stuff. And we're just kind of Googling our way along. I did watch the video um, of the Back to Eden garden, and so, that's you know, kind of a weird bug. I'm not sure if you guys can see it there in the... I don't know what that is. Lots of weird bugs around here. I don't even know if, you, if the camera could pick it up. Um, oh, it just flew away. It can fly, whatever it was. Um, we watch, I watched the Back to Eden video about um, how to have like a minimal weeding and where it holds the moisture well. Which we shouldn't have a problem with moisture as much as it rains. Um, and that's a, a gardening approach and a way to do it. So I did do that. There's not as many weeds. I did have a garden a few years ago and I didn't have the covering, like this mulch type covering that the Back to Eden garden uh, tells you to do and I did not have that and I have noticed that there there is still some weeds but not nearly as many as there was when I didn't have the covering on so um, I think that that is doing its job and working and I'm sure it'll take take a while to get established probably a few years before I see the results um, that the back to Eden garden is supposed to provide so their okra's looking good. Looks like an okra seed got loose over here. What's wrong? Looks like somebody got hurt, so we'll see you in a minute. This guy is just too cool. You're really cool, Hunter. <laughs> Why do you have a jacket on? Cold out. Hmm. Cold out in Florida at the end of July. I've never heard of such. We're gonna go on a walk. We'll take you guys along. The breeze is taking you that way. Can we see your glasses? You want to show your friends your glasses? Yes. Pull them upright so you can see out of them. Can you look at mommy? Isn't she so cute with her glasses? It's Hello Kitty. It's Hello Kitty glasses. I have matching with one of my friends. Yes, you do. Okay, let's go. Can you see better now? Yes. You can see clearly now? Uh huh? Huh? It looks like a monarch butterfly. We have so many butterflies out here. Right in front of us, the orange butterfly. And dragonflies. Yeah. Hold on, we're waiting on Chloe. She's trading out the wagon for the stroller because... We're going to see more adventure things out here. Adventure things. The wagon is really, really loud on the road. And it's scaring away all the animals, isn't it, Isaac? Mm -hmm. So we're waiting. We're waiting on the stroller. It's not loud. There's lots of creatures out here that we can find. So, 
What should we do while we're waiting? Lots of creatures. Chloe's getting your stroller. At the bottom, there's like lines of black. Mm-hmm. Are you following the butterfly? Hold your hand out, Maddie. Maybe it will land on your hand. Could y'all not go get up in the bushes, though? There could be snakes and stuff in there. Now, get away from the neighbor's mailbox. It's a neat little tree. Little. It's a gigantic tree. Wouldn't that be a neat tree to climb, Chloe? Looks like the perfect little place to sit. Mm. Many reasons we moved out here is how pretty it is and how we're two streets away from the river. You're going to clean what up? Do you like living by the river, Maddie? Yeah. Where are you going? Watch out for snakes. That's not the river. That's water that goes. You see the cranes? Do you see them? working on his math. He wants to get that done on time this year. I just um, got some breaded chicken nuggets made up for the kids and I'm gonna pop those in the oven. So, all right. That will be lunch. I had some chicken I needed to use in the fridge. And I'm about to get started on this laundry and little ones are playing. Isaac, let me see your rash. Come here. Can I see your arms? Something stung him this morning. I'm thinking like a mosquito just really got a hold of him and we didn't notice it. He has like a horrible bumpy rash all over his arms. And he doesn't want me to show it to you, so. I'll save you the screaming. to the library. Come on, come put your shoes on. I'm We're leaving our very up. messy house. I'm we finally up. had lunch. It's like I'm 2 o'clock. You don't need a backpack. Why do you need a backpack? Hello. Ready to go to the library? <laughs> Why do you need a backpack? Because you do. Can I see your face? 
Look at mommy. Look at camera. <laughs> Look at camera. Whatever got his arms got his little cheeky there too, huh? You see, mommy's got lavender all over him and his arms, um, the welts on his arms completely went away. I think it was mosquitoes. Yes, you want to see? See mommy? <laughs> so we ate some lunch. We're going to run to the library and probably come home and just relax and watch TV and get ready for dinner and then clean up before daddy gets home. It's pretty much our summery days. Come on, I'm leaving without you guys. Can you please take that baby carrier off of you? Turtle, you're going to have to leave your shell at home. Come put on shoes. Maddie, come put on shoes. You can't stay home alone. I'm sorry. You're six. Let's go. Goodbye. What you get? Blue. 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 You're gonna finish this one. No, okay. we put these in. Don't put anything in your ear except for your elbow. Hold it. You're not supposed to. I think you're just supposed to string them. I think not supposed to do this. I think. So, we had an interesting rest of our day. We went to the library. And, um, well, I guess it started this morning. On the back of Isaac's arms when we got home from running my hubby's paperwork. Come on. He had what looked like mosquito bites or something, and both of his arms were welted up pretty good. And so I put some lavender essential oil on him, and it cleared up, and he seemed fine. So um, we were eating lunch, and he got like a little patch of like a heated red mark on his cheek. And um, so I put some lavender on that, and we went to the library. By the time we got the library both of his cheeks looked horrible that he had um, from his eye to his chin and both of his cheeks were just um, so I got food on me helping the kids out of the car um, on both of his cheeks were just swollen and red and welted and looked horrible and as we continued to sit at the library it just got worse and worse and worse so I um, since we were already at out I took him on into his doctor just so that I thought I'll go home and give him Benadryl and I thought let me just swing by the doctor um, because they do walk-ins and see you right away. We have an excellent pediatrician. And he said that he was just having a severe re reaction to something that was biting him or something. He was just having a real severe reaction to something and by the time we got to the doctor's office it was on one of his arms it was on both of his thighs and um, he gave him Benadryl right there in the office and he, we just got home and he's completely cleared up um, so whatever it is that he's reacting to um, is not um, agreeing with his body whatever it may be we are we did search through the car seat really good to make sure there was nothing in his car seat like a we get caterpillars where we are, stinging caterpillars. Um, we didn't see any mosquitoes in the car. We, I had my daughter um, like sit right next to him and talk to him and play with him. So I'm trying to get the car seat out. I'm just going to take it out. It needs to be scrubbed anyway. I'm going to take it out and take it apart and make sure there's nothing in it. But I mean, we just looked and we couldn't find what it was. That was giving him such bad reactions. I'll try to insert a couple of pics because I wasn't able to record um, going in and out of the doctor's office. It was just too hard to try to record um, with a little one. So we're going to just strip this nasty old car seat down. Anyway, it needs a good washing and make sure there's no caterpillars or bugs or any spiders or anything in it that is biting him and giving him a reaction. Look like welts. So I was thinking mosquito, um, but he's been bitten by a mosquito before and he's never had a reaction like he did. So we'll see what happens.
Anyway, to finish what I was saying, it's almost 6 o'clock now. We just got home. I have you just got home. I've got all the car seats torn apart. They needed their covers washed anyway. So I'm just going to wash them out um, with a water hose and set them in the sun for a few minutes. And this guy's being a construction worker. What are you? What are you? He don't know. Anyway, so I got to get dinner going and wash out these car seats and that will eat up the rest of my evening. So thanks for joining us on our day today. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. And leave in the comments any videos you guys are wanting to see. Anything you want to see how we do or discuss or have any questions for us, just leave them in the comments and we'll see you soon.